Ugh, look at Miss Tammy. What a skank. She's free muffin' it at a baby school. Hi, Stewie. Mommy's here to pick you up. Why do you feel the need to narrate every little thing you do? Oh, hi, Mrs. Griffin. You know, I've actually been meaning to talk to you about Stewie. I'm concerned that he might have an attention problem. Attention problem? Yes, he's been a little difficult to deal with. And on page two of three in the How to Be a Teacher manual, it says that any child who's being difficult should be medicated. What? Drugging a baby? Are you sure? That sounds so serious. I'm afraid his behavior has been an issue for a while. He's even been bothering students during nap time. Hey, you up? Guess where I have a crayon. Sorry, I just prefer to do number two at home. Where were we? It's Stewie, Dr. Hartman. He's having trouble focusing at school. Ah, yes. So you're telling me your baby won't sit still in a way that's convenient for his teacher? Yes. I'd heard stories, but never thought I'd see it with my own eyes. Mrs. Griffin, I'm going to write Stewie a prescription for ADHD medication. Really? Well, I don't know. Doesn't that stuff make you wired? Well, if you're low energy and lethargic, yes. But if you're high energy, it actually calms you down and helps you focus. At least that's what I'm reading on WebMD. Wow, there are a lot of different kinds of medicines. There's a cat in here. Okay, I guess we can give it a try. Here you go. Now, who's this little guy? Hey, where's Stewie? Oh, he's probably sleeping off his pills. What? Well, the school said he had an attention problem, so Dr. Hartman gave him a prescription. You're giving a one-year-old drugs? You're doping up a baby. Peter, are you okay with this? Will you stop talking? I'm trying to think about a girl I saw at the gas station. Stewie? Welcome to Pillow World, Bry. Let me get up and greet you. There we go. How you doing? Oh my God, Stewie, you're totally drugged out. You know something? I've been thinking about how everyone in this family, Brian, does their job. And they do a pretty good job of it. Still on those meds, huh? Uh, yeah, they, uh... They help me to, um, uh, think. Okay, time for an eyes open nap. God, look what those pills are doing to you. Putting you on that stuff was a huge mistake. Like inviting a turtle to a cocktail party. Hey, ask me why they call me a box turtle. Mom, 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 mom. See, this is how American society treats unique, enthusiastic children. Instead of embracing their mental gifts, their first reaction is to shoot them up with hardcore drugs until they're mindless sheeple. All the better to send off to Kuwait and feed the Halliburton oil machine, right? <laughs> Bush. Yep, takes all kinds. You know, a lot of kids in my school take ADD pills. They say if you're lazy and unmotivated, it makes you super energized and productive. R really? Productive? Yeah. And college kids take it all the time so they can focus on their studies and drinking alcohol with their butts. Focus, huh? Okay, well, Stewie, these babies can help the garbage disposal focus because that's where they're going. No need to follow me because I just said what I was going to do. Oh. My God, I can't stop. The words are just pouring out of me. I have more energy than a guy who caught a T-shirt. Come on, Rupert, wait, wait till you see this. This is really something special. Check out how much water is in the dehumidifier. Wow! That was all in the air. Brian? Is that, is that, uh, is that, uh, you? Stewie, rearrange. Uets, rearrange. Weest, restore. Stewie, hey, come see what I've been working on. <laughs> I call it Space Shire 7. Nice, nice. It's like, uh, it's like a fake uh, place you made? It's a medieval sci-fi universe adaptable to TV, movies, toys, games, and mobile apps. I threw together a 2,000-page treatment last night, and I just figured the hell with it. Why not build a scale model and record voices for all the characters? Watch. Well met, stranger. Arashkadika Baplitsho. That's a Nebulon mage. He speaks Gabi, this dumb language I wrote. It's then illegal? What? Hello? Stewie! Stewie's Canal! You're here! We gotta get going! Going? Where? To Hartford, man! There's a book fair at the convention center and George R.R. R. Martin will be there! Who, who's that? 
Uh, Game of Thrones, black shirts, dandruff, takes down more nerd chotch than anyone around? Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna show him my models and pitch him Space Shire 7. Okay, before we go, I should wet my eyes. There. That's him! George R. R. Martin! God, he must be the coolest fat guy in a train conductor's cap in the world! Mr. Martin, I'm Brian Griffin, and I've got a pitch that's gonna blow you away! Are you sitting down? Almost always. Then join me on an interstellar crusade to Space Shire 7! Our story begins 50,000 fortnights ago in the distant galaxy of Warlock's Keep. Comet Castle falls. Samson Cyberblood is the new king of the star system. Long live Space Shire 7, and long live the hyperspeed throne! <sighs> So, what do you think? It was terrible. Ah, you're speaking the language of the opposite goblins. I'm very flattered. No, it's garbage. You just took a lot of pills, mashed together a bunch of sci-fi and fantasy cliches, and crapped out a 2,000-page turd. Y you could tell I was on medication? Oh, sure. But that stuff doesn't make you write well. It just makes you write a lot. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go wash the nerd chotch out of my beard. God, I didn't realize how those drugs were ruining me creatively. I haven't been feeling quite right either. Yesterday I watched Chris shower for half an hour just because I thought it was the TV. He, um, he lies on his back in there. Stewie, this drug is ruining us. We don't need these. You're right. These pills are for people with real problems. But there's nothing wrong with us. You're just lazy, I'm just excitable, we're both normal. Now let's go home. That man is an imposter. I am George R. R. Martin. Whoa!